Hey, I'm an Indian with thick Indian accent, but this is my AI speaking. The world's most advanced text-to-speech is now multilingual. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own text-to-speech app just in a click. Stay till the end. Eleven Labs is how I made the intro audio clip that you just saw. And starting today, it does not create only English audio, but it can create multiple other languages like German, Polish, Spanish, Italian, French, Portuguese, and Hindi. Yes, Eleven Labs let you create audio clips in multiple different languages. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Eleven Labs API and their Python library to create your own application. And just like I mentioned in the video, there is a surprise for you where you do not have to code anything. All you have to do is click once and then you will be ready with that. To show my code, I would like to take you to my um, new data button application. This is my data button application where this has been already deployed. So this is a Streamlit app and uh, this Streamlit app can do certain things. It can take a text input and it lets you select the voice and you can select which version that you want to select monolingual or multilingual and then you can generate a voice and i'm going to go through the step by step line by line of this code but even if you do not understand anything you will finally get a template with which you can just start easily before you even begin further the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to 11labs.io and then register yourself an account for you to access their api you need an api key and that API key is available inside their website. So you have to go click your profile and click profile and you can see your API key here. The, this API key is mandatory, so make sure you have done the registration. Once the API key is ready, probably you'll be on the free plan, but if you want to be on the paid plan, that's fine. But even with the free plan, you get to use 10,000 characters per month and you can still, even with free plan, you can still create speech in English, German, Polish, Spanish, Italian, French, Portuguese, and Hindi. And you also get the API access, which is quite amazing to be honest. Now, after you have managed to get the API key, which is by clicking the profile and clicking profile. Now we're going to move into our data button application where you have to go to the configure and inside the configure, you would see 11 underscore API key. You have to paste your key here and click update. So that's the only change that you have to do. You have to copy the API key, paste it here and click update and you will have your app ready in no time. But before we go further, I would like to quickly show you the code so that if you are a programmer who is watching this, you know what is happening here. First, we are going to import all the required libraries. We need Streamlit as ST for the Streamlit web application that you are seeing. We need NumPy as NP and from 11 labs, we need voices generate set api key and also the unauthenticated rate limit error so these are certain things that we need to download or import from 11 labs now as you know if you are a python programmer you would know that the first step is to install these libraries you need to have streamlit numpy 11 labs installed on your machine if you are using any cloud-based solution like me then you need to have this as part of your requirements.txt so the requirements.txt is mentioned here. Now, after that, we have to create a helper function to pad the buffer. So we need to pad buffer to the multiples of two bytes. That's quite important for this particular case. Uh, you don't have to go into the code. Just use this function. All we are doing is padding the buffer. And the next function is the very important function. This is the core function that helps us create the audio. So we are going to create the audio here. You can see that it takes the text as an input, voice name as an input, model name as an input, and it, go, it generates the output. So you have got the text. You have to limit the text to 250 characters and voice as an input. Yeah, you can have more than that, of course. But uh, the point here is that I am running on a free plan, so I don't want to run out of it. So select the voice and model. So the voice and model are something you can also figure out in their own website. So you can go see what kind of voices they've got. The intro voice that I made was with Arnold, but you can also make your own voice and then start using that if you want. The next step is also you can select the model. So this all gets goes into the generate function. And that is the where 
you get the audio and then the audio gets processed with the pad buffer and then the finally the audio bytes get returned as an umpy array so that's what finally you're going to get the bytes are going to be returned now the web application if you see the web application has got a very simple title and we are going to have the same title here st dot title is to have the web application and description is for us to have the description the title and the description after we have that then we have to have an input area where people can go and add text so you can see that the input area is here that has been used or created by st dot text underscore area so this is the input text area where you can ask the user to give you maximum of 250 characters. The next step is for you to extract all the existing voices. As you know that we already imported the voices and we want users to select all the voices that are available. Rachel, Domi, Bella, Anthony, Ellie, Josh, Arnold, Adam, Sam, and these are the voices that are available. So now get all the voices, okay? So you got all the voices and that is a drop down. So drop down in Streamlit is created using a select box. So using a select box, we created the list of voices and those voices are going inside input voice. And if you know, that is exactly what goes inside our model here for the audio generation. Then you need to select the right model. So there are two models that are available, 11 multilingual V1 sorry, 11 monolingual V1 and 11 multilingual V1. So if you want to just generate using English, then go with 11 monolingual V1. But if you want to try other languages, which I will just shortly show you, you can try 11 multilingual V1. And at this point, this goes inside input underscore model. And this is a radio button because you, you just have to select one of these items. And now, after you have done this thing, you need to create st button dot generate voice, which will invoke this function called generate underscore voice. So you have got st button generate voice. Once that button is clicked, then generate underscore voice is create uh, invoked with these three values. What are the three values? The input text, the voice and the model input text, the voice and the model, the input text, the voice and the model. And then when you click generate voice, it actually goes inside all this information goes inside this. And then finally, you're going to get the audio plate. So let me start with a very small thing in a monolingual setup. So I'm going to say, I love one little coder. Okay, this is me narcissistic and um, asking Rachel to speak. I love one little coder and I'm going to use the monolingual model and I'm going to click generate voice. And as you know, it's generated. Now you're going to hear it. I love one little coder. That's that's actually much better than what I would have said. But to demonstrate the multilingual skills, I'm going to go copy um, a text. So which is um, which is from a very popular Hindi movie. So I'm going to copy this text. I'm going to come back to the same application. I'm going to paste it. And um, my Hindi is quite rusty. Uh, if any of you are watching this, probably you know this movie. It's one of the most popular movies in the last uh, two, three decades, I would say. It says, Hum ek bar jeete hai, hum ek bar marte hai. So it's, uh, I, don't, I don't want to uh, embarrass myself by reading more Hindi, but you can see that I'm actually pasting Hindi text. I'm not pasting English text. And I'm going to select the 11 multilingual model and I'm going to click generate voice. I'm still using the Rachel's voice. Um, let's see if Rachel can actually go multilingual for us. And let's play it. Uh, this is the first time I'm playing it, so I'm I'm actually anxious. Hum ek bar jeete hain, ek bar marte hain. Shaadi bhi ek bar hoti hai, aur pyar ek bar hi hota hai. Um, it was good, honestly speaking. Like uh, I, I've heard a lot of Hindi. It was good, but it was quite robotic. So let's maybe try a different voice. Maybe I think I've got something for Arnold. So let me generate again. And uh, I'm generating the voice. हम एक बार जीते हैं, एक बार मरते हैं, शादी भी एक बार होती है, और प्यार एक बार ही होता है. This is honestly speaking, this is super amazing and multi, much, 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 much better. And here we have got like if you want to build your text to speech, probably this is one of the most advanced solutions in this entire world. And before I go over what we did, I'm going to show you how just ridiculously simply you can get started with this. I'm going to go over every single detail again. 
open a new tab and then go to data button dot com slash new so go to data button dot com slash new when you go there you will see the template that i was actually using it's going to show you text to speech with one little coded template so you don't have to do anything all you have to do is click this template and say use the template and the moment you click it and then say use the template it's going to create everything for you i mean like i've already made everything for you all you have to do is wait for this generating workspace because it's actually you know installing all the libraries doing everything once that is done go click the settings button and uh, you have to just add your own secret here so the api key that you copied from that particular place is what you have to paste here where did you copy from go to 11 labs beta.11labs.io after you have registered click your profile click profile and you will get the api key here copy the api key from there come back to your data button application paste it here click update that's all you have to do it if you have to check you can just reveal the value and check it right now there is nothing but if you paste it and then check it you can check the value and finally you have to just deploy the application once you deploy the application click the deploy the application then this application you only have the link for you to use it nobody else will have the link and you can start using this to create audio books youtube videos faceless videos and will like a lot of people have been asking me to generate long form content um long form audio clips using text to speech 11 labs is probably one of the best text to speech that is available and you get 10000 characters per month for free like you can use 10000 and just for 5 dollars per month you can use 30000 this video is definitely not sponsored by 11 labs i'm not asking you to subscribe but the point here is that you can use that and then generate whatever you want i hope this video was helpful to you in learning how to create your own text to to speech application with 11 labs that's multilingual like i said it supports english german polish spanish italian french portuguese and hindi you all you have to do is sign up at 11 labs get the api key and use my data button template and you will have a fully functional a saas mini saas application deployed within your like your place like your account and then you can use it every single day that you want let me know in the comment section i've been thinking about making an instant cloning application like you can record the voice and then make your voice cloning let me know if that's something that you would like in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting